welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. In today's video, I am so excited to be telling you all about this beauty right here. This is the Louis Vuitton Odeon PM in the beautiful Damier Aben canvas. If you guys haven't checked out my recent unboxing, make sure to do so because I kind of tell a little bit of a story about how I was supposed to get the monogram, but I ended up getting the Damier Aben and I have to tell you, I'm so pleasantly surprised. I really am. So today's video is going to be a first impressions. I obviously haven't had this bag for a long time, but I have worn it enough to be able to tell you some of the positives and the negatives. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you about this bag. I'm going to show you what fits. I'm going to show you mod shots. I'm going to tell you positives and negatives. And then I also took some questions from everyone on Instagram, some things that you guys specifically wanted to know about the bag, and I'm going to be answering those as well. And then at the end, I'm going to tell you whether or not I recommend this bag. So if that sounds like something you guys are interested in, make sure to hit that little subscribe button and stick around and let's get right into the video. Okay. So first what I want to do is I want to tell you some of the features of the bag in case you are new to the bag and you're not really that familiar with it. So you can see, I do have it in the beautiful Damier Ben canvas. It does also come in the monogram as well. The thing that attracted me, well, actually two things attract me to this bag. The first thing is this pocket right here. So the Damier Ben canvas goes down the front of the bag and then here it is just the black lining and there is a magnetic closure right there. I love that feature. That was the thing that drew me to it. And then I love that it has this little um, black luggage tag as well. And keep in mind, the luggage tag is removable. So if you wanted the bag to just like look like that, you could. But I really like the way the bag looks with the luggage tag. It's really, really beautiful and chic that way. It also has um, the black leather corners here. It does not have any feet. And then the back of the bag here is just the plain uh, Damier Aben canvas. The bag has two rings on the sides in which it does have a removable strap. And then it does have a zipper feature right here, which a lot of you were asking me if the zippers went all the way across and they do, which is amazing. The strap on here is also a very thick and hardy strap. Not only is the strap removable, but it's also adjustable, which is amazing. Okay, just to tell you the dimensions of the bag really quick, it is 11 inches in height. It is 9.8 inches in width and then it is about 3.5 in depth. It is a really, really cute, cute bag. And it also has the gold colored hardware, which I think is really, really nice. But this bag, just the looks of it, I love how unique it is. You don't see a lot of bags that look like this. I also love the idea of the luggage tag and the pockets. So the price of this bag comes in at a whopping $1,770. I will be honest, this bag was on my wish list and I was so, so worried. I got a little scared that there was going to be another price increase. So I went ahead and I took the plunge and I wanted to mainly get a workhorse bag. You know, fall is coming up. I wanted to get a bag that I could just kind of grab and go that was a very casual bag that would fit a good amount, but yet it was also functional. And I will go into the details of the functionality as well. So now that I told you the description, and the price, I want to go ahead and I want to show you, share with you some mod shots. So really there are three ways that you could wear the back. So let me scoot the camera back and I'll share with you some mod shots. Okay, so here is the beautiful bag. So I am about five foot three. Now the way that I typically wear the bag is I wear it crossbody, and you can see that my waist is right here. So it falls right below my waist, kind of at my hip. And I like the way that it sits very nice and comfortably on my body. So you can wear it as a crossbody bag, which is how I'm typically going to wear it. If you don't want to wear it as a crossbody, you can also wear it as a long shoulder bag. And you can see where that fits me. And then this is another option. I don't know how many people will wear it this way, but you also have the option of removing the straps 
and you can just kind of either carry this bag as like a little clutch like so or kind of grab it like this I don't know that I'll really be wearing it like that too often but if you are someone that you know for whatever reason you don't want to wear the straps this is an option to remove the straps now the strap does have seven holes and the strap drop is about 15.7 inches at the lowest point and then it's about 19.7 inches. I am five foot three and I have it at the first hole and I find that to be really comfortable and I like where that hits me. If I had my recommendation, I would definitely recommend wearing it as a crossbody. It's really, really comfortable to wear as a crossbody. And you can see how, let me turn this way, how it kind of just conforms to your body. So I really, really have been enjoying it that way. Okay, so now that I showed you the match outs, I want to go ahead and I want to share with you what fits in this bag, kind of like what I typically carry in the bag. And I will also show you some other popular items that a lot of people have to share with you if they fit in this bag. Okay, now we are going to do a little what's in my bag, and I'm going to share with you what I typically carry and what fits. So one of my favorite, 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 did I say favorite features of this bag is I love this little magnetic closure pocket here. This is where I keep my phone. Now I have the iPhone XR and I don't have a pop socket or anything on it, but I do have a case you can see and it just fits so nicely. So it does fit horizontal and then if you want it vertical, it will pop peek through just a little bit, but not too bad, but that this is the main thing that I absolutely love about it. Okay, so now you can see the zipper. You can either have the zipper like that, or if you want, you can have the zipper like so. But I honestly usually keep the zipper open because you can see even when the zipper's open, it doesn't open too much. It just opens just a tad. So here is the interior of my bag, and as you can see, it fits quite a bit. So I'm gonna share with you what I have in here, and you guys are gonna be amazed when you see how much is in this bag. Okay, so first off, you reach in, and I have my little Chanel cosmetic pouch. This is what I'll keep cash and some cards in, but I love this. It has a really sleek design, but it is amazing, so I have that. Then back in, I have my, this is my Louis Vuitton agenda. I love this little agenda. A lot of you have been asking for a dedicated uh, video on this, so I do plan on doing that as well. Okay, reaching back in, I also have my mini pochette. I love the mini pochette. And then of course in here, I have a lot of different things. I have some perfume. I have a little mirror from Chanel. I have some lotion and then I also have a pen. This is kind of the item that I keep all of my like miscellaneous items in. Okay. And that's already a lot. Look how much so far. And then reaching back in, I also have this. This is my little Zoe wallet and I like how it pairs nicely with the ODM PM. Then I also have my key pouch from Louis Vuitton as well. So you can see, is that everything? Yep, that's everything I have in here. And it's kind of hard to see because it's a black interior, but there is an interior pocket if you wanted to put something there. Um, but the inside is just one large black compartment. So you can see this bag fits a lot. So I have my mini pochette, I have my Zoe wallet, I have my agenda, I have my cosmetic pouch, and then I also have my keys and my phone. So that's quite a bit. So as far as I'm concerned, this bag can fit more than your essentials. Now I also brought two more other items. Um, some people asked me if the mini pochette, some of you were asking if the toiletry 15 fits. So here is the toiletry 15. This is the smallest size and you can see that does fit in there nicely. And then along with the 15, you could also pop some other items in there as well. And then another item that you guys were asking about is you wanted to know if sunglasses fit. So I went ahead and I brought my bulkiest sunglass case. This is my Gucci sunglass case and 
you can see that pops in there nicely. Now it does take up quite a bit of room, so I would recommend that if you are using sunglasses, maybe use a softer case, but if you wanna use a hard case, you can. It just might limit you with other things you can put in. But with the sunglass case in there, I could still get, you know, my mini pochette, my keys, um, my wallet, and that would fit in there really nicely. So as you can see, this bag might look tiny off the bat, but it really can fit quite a bit. Okay, now that I shared with you the mod shots, I share with you what fits, now I wanna go over the positives and the negatives, and then I'll get into some of your questions because I know that these bags can be very pricey, and if you're anything like me, I definitely like to watch videos to get as much information as I can about the bag to see if it would be suitable for me. So first off, let's talk about the positives, and of course, every positive might depend on the person and what's important to you, but one thing I I really really love how thick and sturdy this strap is it's really really nice and then in addition to that it is an adjustable strap so it's a thick sturdy strap adjustable and it's removable as I stated in the mod shots I don't know that I'll really be removing the straps too much because I don't know that I'll be carrying it as a clutch but that option is there in the event you want it plus I love the fact that it is adjustable one complaint I have had with the Alma BB the Nano Speedy is they do not have adjustable straps and I think that's so important because you know I am only five foot three but then there might be someone that's five foot nine who likes the bag as well and you want to be able to adjust it to your height so that is one positive that I absolutely love another positive about this is this bag is really durable because of the Damier Ben canvas and because of the leather this is kind of I stated before a workhorse bag I don't feel as though I have to worry about getting it dirty or anything like that since I've had this bag, I've taken it out in the rain, and I still think it looks nice. Now, granted, it is still relatively new, but I still have taken it in the rain, whereas other bags, I might not. If I had a bag with a vaquetta, you know you can get the water spots on it, so I wouldn't take that. So this is one of those bags where I feel like it's super functional in the sense where I can use it in any type of inclement weather, and it doesn't matter, and it's still going to hold up really nicely. So it's just one of those really fuss-free bags, and I think it's important for all of us to have a fuss-free bag because if you have a bag in your collection you definitely want to get a lot of use out of it and you know you don't want to be like oh well I'm not going to take it in the rain or oh it's snowing or oh it's humid out you know so this is one of those bags that you can use no matter what the weather is another positive for me at least and you guys have heard me talk about this over and over and over but it has a pocket for my phone this I can't tell you enough how Important it is for me to have a pocket for my phone. That's another reason I love the Bichette Matisse so much because on the back of it there is a back pocket. I love that I can just slip my phone in and if my phone goes off I can just easily reach in here and grab it. It's just really easily accessible and I love that about this bag. Another thing, not only does this bag fit your essentials, but I think it fits more than your essentials. You saw it fit an agenda, it fit the mini pochette, my wallet, my keys, sunglasses, like all sorts of things. So this is a tiny bag, it's the Odeon PM, but I really don't think you would need the MM size because the PM, in my opinion, fits everything you would need. Another positive for this is it's very comfortable to wear. I find that it just molds to your body nicely. I think you could see that in the mod shots because of the way this is. It's a soft material, it's not firm. So it just molds to your body, it fits comfortably, and who doesn't want a bag that is comfortable to wear? Another thing is I absolutely love this luggage tag. I just think it's a nice addition to the bag and I don't really have any other bags that have this and I love it. Now as I stated you can remove it but if you removed the tag you can see I think the bag it would still be very functional but it just wouldn't have the same amount of flair. I love the addition of the luggage tag. I think that's so cute, so unique and different. So honestly as far as the positive go, positives go I can't say enough good things. It is just 
absolutely amazing. So now let me tell you some of the negatives. I don't have a ton of negatives, but there are a couple things that I did want to point out. Now one thing about this bag, you will notice the inside of the bag is black. So I do find sometimes that you guys know I have some black SLGs. I have the Chanel cosmetic pouch. I have my Rosalie and those are darker. So if you have the darker SLGs, sometimes they can be kind of hard to see because of the black interior. So I tend to gravitate more towards more colorful SOGs because then when I'm looking in here I can grab them a little easier so that is one thing to just be mindful of it does have that dark interior so it is kind of hard to see but not a huge it hasn't been a huge huge deal but it is something I wanted to mention Another thing I have noticed about this bag is this is definitely a casual bag. Now, of course, you can wear bags however you want, but as you saw in my Louis Vuitton unboxing, I did have a little more of a dressier outfit on in that, and I definitely feel like this bag is a more casual, like grab-and-go type of bag. Like, I don't know that I would wear this bag to a wedding or anything like that. So just keep in mind, if you're looking for a bag that you can wear dressy as well, I definitely think this is more suited for a casual lifestyle, but who doesn't love a workhorse casual bag? And then one more tiny thing that I wanted to mention, not a huge, huge deal, but because this bag, this strap is a little thicker, sometimes I find that if I have a lot in the bag, the buckle will kind of dig into my shoulder a little bit. Now I'm not going to say it's super uncomfortable, but it is to the point where I do notice it a little bit, but it hasn't really like been a huge, huge deal, but I just wanted to mention that it was something that I did notice. Um, some people were complaining that they thought that this portion right here should be like kind of the mouth of the bag should be a little bit wider. I haven't really found that issue. I find that I can reach my hand in pretty easily, as you can see, and grab my things. The only thing that was kind of a nuisance is that the interior of the bag is black. I kind of wish they would have made the interior of the bag red, very similar to the Alma BB and some of the other bags, because then you could see your SLGs a little better, but not a huge deal. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I have a couple questions from some of you guys that I wanna answer, and then at the end, I will let you know if I recommend this bag. Now I wanna answer a couple questions that you guys had. Bridget 1922 wanted to know how comfortable is the strap. I find the strap to be pretty comfortable other than the one little metal part that sometimes can have a tendency to dig into my shoulder a little bit, but it's not a huge deal breaker for me. I love the fact that it's an adjustable strap, it's a thicker strap, and it's removable too. The bow is love, is the canvas wrinkly? So far, so good. I've noticed that maybe sometimes it looks like there's like a little bit of an indentation here, but so far, so good. Carla Bebe, is the height of it uncomfortable to wear since it's a crossbody? Not at all. I think that the height of it is perfect. It fits comfortably on my body, and you can also adjust it to your height as well, but I feel like it fits really nicely, kind of like molds into my hip area. All Anderson 034, what fits in it? Well, I shared with you what fits earlier, and you can see quite a bit fits all of your essentials plus some. Um, Melissa Adams Wade, does it fit a water bottle? Okay, so I have a water bottle here, and I probably should have included that in the what's in my bag. So you can see, um, you can put a water bottle, and yes, it will fit, and it will zip, but if you wanna put the water bottle, you have to put it over here. If you put it in the center part right here, it won't zip. So yes, a water bottle does fit. T608, do you think the hardware on the bag will tarnish like it does on some SLGs? You know, I don't think so. It looks like this is a really, really nice shiny gold. And I don't feel like I'm really gonna be messing with this too much. Like I know that on my Pochette Matisse, it is tarnished a little bit, but that's because I'm constantly touching the lobster clasp with my fingers. So the oils have ca caused it to tarnish. So I don't see it's going to be a problem with this one because I'm not really going to be messing with the zipper that much because I'll leave it open. But so far, so good. M Ross 21, how much can it hold? I can't decide if I want the PM or MM. As you can see, it holds a lot. I really don't think you would need the MM size because I think the PM, it's the perfect size and it fits quite a bit. Okay, Adele 1025, how is a zipper when you put your hand in to grab your things? Scratch your ring or watch. So, I have it, my ring, 
nope it doesn't scratch it at all really really like it um, podcast by Julia I love a what's in my bag is it easy to organize or do things fall to the bottom and get lost um it it fits a lot it's pretty easy to organize the only problem is that the interior is black so sometimes it can be a little difficult to see your items but other than that it's good is the mouth opening super small from Julia Bloffus um I don't think so it's not bad at all you can see and then you can see how my oh, and then you can see how my hand fits in there nicely Tay Bray, this isn't really Odeon specific, but with the coated canvas, you can wipe that off correct. Yes, I have found that if I get something on the canvas, I can just wipe it off with like an unscented baby wipe or something like that, and things usually do come off. A Laka, how did you snag this? Oh, always sold out online, and my essay keeps telling me not in stock. I first looked online, and it was online, so my recommendation would be to look online like late at night or really, really early in the morning. Like I'm talking about like five, six in the morning, because I have found that's when I've usually had luck. And just keep texting your essay. If you're not getting what you need from your current sales associate, I'd recommend going into the, another Louis Vuitton and finding another one, because my sales associate has been great. So just keep trying until you find a sales associate that um, works for you but don't give up a lack of why not the mm so I, I usually like the smaller bags and when I tried the PM I liked the way this looked compared to the mm which just seemed a little large plus the PM fits everything I need so I don't really feel the need to spend extra money on the mm when I know the PM checks all my boxes so from the Robin does a sunglass case fit yep it absolutely does uh, some 33 TR comparison to the Pochette Matisse okay so I have the Pochette Matisse here you can see they are very very similar this one has a front pocket this has a back I can certainly do a comparison in the future between these two once I've had the bags but they are very similar J4 CKYs. Would my Louis Vuitton Agenda MM fit in with a Victorine wallet and a small cosmetic bag? I would say it would. I have the PM, and you saw that the PM fit in there with the mini pochette, my wallet, my key holder, my Chanel cosmetic case, so I would say yes. Do you think it's, um, this is from Anacra 1996, do you think it's a big for an everyday bag? Not at all. I've actually been using this as my grab and go everyday bag, it fits all my essentials. And then Tweet Carrie, are you happy you got Damia Eben instead of Monogram? I am happy actually because I already have the Lucky BB and the Palm Springs Mini. I already have those bags that have the Monogram and the black, so I thought this one was different because I don't have anything with the uh, Damia Eben in the black, so I'm so happy I got it for sure. And then um, Prissy Miss, what is another LV bag that you've been eyeing? Actually, you know what? I think I'm good for now. Like I have been kind of naughty lately with my purchases. So I think I'm good with my spending. Um, I don't really have anything on my radar. So thank you guys so much for your questions. Those were good questions. But feel free, if there's anything else you want to know, leave it down below. And now the question of the day is what I recommended. I 100%, if you guys are looking for a workhorse, functional everyday bag that's easy access you can fit a lot that you can grab your phone it has an adjustable strap a removable strap you name it I would definitely go for this now keep in mind um, I don't know about you but I am working from home other than when I go into the office occasionally so this has been great for me especially with my casual attire lately so if you guys are looking for a casual bag that fits a good amount that is a workhorse that you can take it in any type of weather I would recommend it now people have been asking me do you prefer a monogram over the Damier Aben, I like both, but for me, I think the Damier Aben was the better choice considering I already have some other bags with the monogram in the black, but I really don't think you can go wrong with either. So yes, I would highly, highly recommend this bag. I know this bag can be difficult to find, so I will try to find some on the pre-love market and list them, link them down below, but I hope this helped you guys. Like I stated before, I know these items can be expensive, so I want to try to do whatever I can to help you guys. If you have any additional questions, let me know. If you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and I'd love to have you following my Instagram as well have a wonderful day you guys and I will see you in my next video